and welcome back to this Canva for Creative Education series. So today we're going to be talking about um, color palettes. When you are designing a project series or your students are designing an infographic or a poster or a podcast cover or a research carousel or anything, they're going to want to keep to a consistent color palette. It's something that really makes graphic design look professional. So there are a few ways you can do this. You can go um, once you have put any shapes or text onto your page or any elements, you can go in and you can choose colors. And a student or you, you could just decide. You could say, I'm going to use this color blue, this color yellow, and this color red. And you could do everything in those colors. Another option is to, is to choose sort of a core visual and make everything align with the color palette in that visual. So let's say, for example, I'm going to do that. So I've gone down to photos. I've put in watercolor splash. We experimented with this in the last video. And let's say I really like this orange and yellow color, and I'm going to make that my color palette. So I'm dropping it on top of this white rectangle and i'm going to just place it right where i had the white rectangle now i want to make everything match um, and so i'm going to go in and i'm going to show you something cool once you have put one image into your project you are going to see a color palette that's been designed for you by canva and it's in this little section called photo colors and it's really great <laughs> so now if i want to i can choose i can put that color in or this color, or this color, this color, or this color. These are the five core colors of the image according to Canva. Now, what I'm noticing is they're not really showing up, right? <laughs> they don't really show up against this image. So one option is always to include black as one of your colors. Another option would be to choose something else for my background color something with a little more variety, a few more darker colors. So maybe I pick this one instead. And I'm going to have this be my core color for my whole project or my infographic or whatever I'm designing. So in that case, I will once again drag it to the size I want. And now let's go in and look again at this photo colors. There, my purple stands out a little bit more. So let's say now I'm going to continue designing my project and I want to always use these colors as my core. I'm going to go to my second page, which is going to be page two, and it's going to look a little different. Maybe for this part, I'm just going to have these colors kind of in a stripe along the bottom. And line up. And I'm going to want to have my background match with my colors. I could go orange. I could go purple. I want to do that up here too. Maybe up here I'll go with that pretty light orange. And now um, I'm going to consider kind of what else do I want to add. Maybe I'm going to have a little shape in the middle that's going to separate two sections of my handout and I'm going to use that same color bar and you can see it's just very handy um, for making everything coalesce and look nice as you design page after page you've got your core colors canva has already identified them for you you can make everything match and it's, it's just, it's like the easiest shortcut in your graphic design. See what I mean? I love it. So I feel like I should say more, but really it's that simple. You choose some kind of graphic that you like, you get your color palette, or you just go straight into colors and you choose your color palette. You want to choose just a few colors. It could be five that are kind of complementary. It could be three, um, when students are designing a PowerPoint series, a, a social media carousel, an infographic, a podcast cover, a poster, anything, 
they're going to want to keep to this concept of the palette. And so are you when you're designing projects and posters and bulletin boards. Um, it makes your life so much easier. You don't have to keep going through and searching, oh, what color should I use for this? What color should I use for this? You just know. <laughs> You've got your palette. It's always going to be one of those three, four, five colors. Um, and so it's always going to look good because everything is going to match fluidly.